Hello and welcome back to Fairhead. As you can see, the money in the top right may have changed a little bit. I've had to make some changes around the farm. But first off, a quick shout out to Dancer of Clouds. Uh, I've got a comment here from Dancer of Clouds saying there's a mod called Real Power. Uh, so I have actually downloaded it. I don't think it was actually called Real Power though. I think it was called More Power. Um, just so that we can get up and down the hills uh, using smaller machinery. So what I've done is I have got rid of the rented Landini. I have sold the MAN uh, rigid flatbed that we had because it's just too big for the map. I sold our um, rear attached mower and I bought this one. So this is a brand new setup. We bought this class Arian 660 and we bought this Cavernland uh, Tarup 4032 uh, behind mower. So I've just set everything up, making sure it works. The grass is being conditioned so that we can make some hay today. And I have also bought a small flatbed that we can load our bales onto. Because we really need to get them out of the fields. We want to get everything cut up, tedded up, rowed up. And a load of hay bales and, if we can, some silage bales as well. So without further ado, I am going to turn this mower on. It's going to take me a bit of time to get used to it because of what you know how far off to the side it sits from the tractor. But this class tractor is really, really good. I really like it. It was worth having. So we're just going to cut up some grass and hope that we can make some hay today because the cows are going to need the silage by the end of today. And if we can put some hay in there with them as well, then it definitely wasn't too early. So I will get this field mowed up and I will find a second field to mow as well in a little time lapse. And I will be back with you in a few moments.
Okay, so that is two fields pretty much mowed, ready to be tedded. Um, one thing we don't have yet is a tedder, so that's something we're going to have to go and purchase in a moment. Um, but what I was thinking about doing was trying to sort of make it a little bit more realistic and try and leave it set out, but then again, would we be making hay in October? Probably not, unless it's exceptionally warm. So I think we'll probably just go and buy a tedder, get this job done, and then hopefully from sort of spring onwards, we can be a bit more realistic with it. But that is complete. I really like this uh, mower. It's fantastic. Is it fully unfolded? Yes, it is. So quick test for this mower actually will be going round this way which is the well probably shouldn't have gone this way exactly like but that was, that was actually a stream which was the way we struggled to actually go down with anything really with any width this is barely as wide as the tractor so I'm hoping it fits down the pathway down the mountain what well, may as well be a mountain Keep it wide going around here. See if we can get it down this this very narrow path. And it's looking like we might struggle. Oh, it's touching either side. No, we'll just avoid using this path um, for now. But that was a lot easier being able to go up and down hills using a tractor rather than uh, struggling. There we go. So that is done. We can now have a look at some tethers. I don't think there's anything in the sale, no there's not. Uh, just so you know, the low loader we bought is this one, we can load bales onto that, shouldn't be a problem. So, tethers, grass care, well, it's got its own category hasn't it, tethers, yeah. Really, our options are stay small. So essentially 4.4 metres. Don't see a point in going any bigger. So we'll actually have that. So, Ooh, another thing I have added is manual attach. Cause, just because I like it. I've never actually used it in a series before, so why not make it this one? So I will go to the shop, I will pick up the tether, I will bring it back on our low loader, and then we'll get these fields tethered and possibly pick up some of the bales, possibly the silage bales, first. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, so I have picked up the, excuse me, I've picked up the tether. I'm just gonna see if it works or if there's anything else we actually need to do. It's working like a treat. Excellent. So, Ted in this field shouldn't take too long. And it's a nice job that the Ford can actually do. I do like using the Ford. It's a good good little tractor. So, hopefully it shouldn't take, like I say, too long. So, I guess I will get this tedded up. And I will see you again once that is done. Enjoy.
Okay, so we're coming towards the tedding for the day. Um, this is only a small field, it won't take more than a minute really to do. Um, looks like we're going to have some nice hay bales. I'm not going to get everything baled up, I don't think, today. What I'll do is... I'm going to get this field rowed up after we've um, fertilised the canola field. Only because the cows need some hay and the other uh, on the side of the hill there may take quite a bit longer. So we're going to row probably most of this, if not all of it, up and then just do a couple of bales. Um, depending on obviously how long it takes and how much time I've got for, for today's episode. So, the cows will have hay today, and there should be some fa um, fermented silage bales now, which they can have as well. So, they should be getting quite a decent amount of food in before the end of this in-game month, which is nice. Which is where we want to be, where we need to be, really. Obviously, I was a little bit quick to fire the gun and get some cows, but just makes us... Uh, well, it makes us a cow farmer. <laughs> right, so this is, like I say, nearly done. Just got to turn it round once more. And the mod suggested in the comments for the last episode, going up and down hills with a piece of equipment. Much better. Much, much better. Very happy with it. Right, so that is the tether finished with. We will get the windrow attached to this Ford and then we will jump in the Massey Ferguson sprayer and at least spray her, um, fertilizer on the canola field so where are we going to put this probably in here now that we've not got a uh, massive wagon in there All the way back. So it's and there you go, that's detached. Obviously, having this uh, manual attached as well means I've actually got to practice reversing up the pieces of equipment because I'm pretty bad at it. It's always good to be better. Uh, about the. Let's see how that looks. Not bad. Excellent. So we have a windrow attached. Right. We need the Massey Ferguson sprayer. There you are. This will be a 10 second job. If I can, you know, not hit a wall. Every time. <laughs> There's a wall so much as near me I hit it. It's terrible. Right, so we'll get this down to field. What's on this uh, PDA is 48. And we will need to come down and weed this and the wheat field as well. Which isn't going to be a major problem. Unfold this. It's quite wide, this sprayer. a lot of fertilizer as well. Good job we've got plenty and it's only a small field. Yeah it definitely needs it. Of 
close this gate for a second. And this should be it. There you go. Took seconds to do. So we'll go and put this back. And I will get one last time lapse going, rowing and picking up a few of them bales of hay. And then we'll finish today's episode off by putting some more food in with the cows. So I will see you when I've got the Ford. Okay, so we're in the Ford. As I said before, we're already attached to the windrow that we did earlier on. Uh, just to make this a bit of a speedier process. So we need to turn round and go into this small field and get this road up. Even if we only get three or four hay bales out of this for the cows, it's three or four that we don't need to buy later down the line. So, we'll get this unfolded now. Drop it down. Alright, let's see how it does pulling this windrow around. It should find it fairly straight easy. Shouldn't be a difficult job for it at all. Okay, so, I'll get this done in a time lapse. And I will see you in a moment when we've got some hay bales done. Okay, so we're coming down what is essentially the last swath of hay. And it looks like out of this little field we've actually managed to get um, three four and a half thousand litre hay bales out of it and part of another one. So we've got plenty to go at for now. Got a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right and a little bit down the middle there that we've got to get. Hopefully I can pick at that if I can get round the bends nice and easy enough. Like this one. Pick that up. Try and get this bit. Yeah. And the last bit is this bit. Excellent. So we actually nearly managed. Well, we managed three and a half bales out of it, which is really good. We'll actually leave the baler attached to the Ford so we'll put this away we'll get the Merlot and we'll feed some hay to the cows ok, Merlot there you are some working lights on so we can see what we're doing 
So we should be able to grab some silage and some hay. And then we'll see where we're at with these cows then. So we'll grab the silage bale first from that dropped off the cliff that's down the side here. That should be fully fermented so we can check that while we're here. And it is 98%, so still not quite. Very surprised it's taken so long. Right, well I guess it's hay and then silage will be going in tomorrow's in-game day. Probably the first thing we do. I like the colours in the evening on this map. Just yeah, I want to be on a. I want to be more straight with it. So that's one bale. And what we'll do, we'll see where two bales puts us. We will still grab this last uh, third bale out of the field. There's no point in leaving it there. Then this one can be limed and fertilised, ready for next time. But first, cows. Right, so as it sits, the cows have... This should put um, roughage, if I uh, remember rightly. Yes, it does. So we'll get that one last bale out of the field and we'll throw that in with them as well. Because it rolled into the corner. Let's get that them lights on. Fiery sky. Right, okay, so that's the cows with plenty of food. That's some hay made, which will last, and uh, we've got some more that we can bale up next time. So, anyway, I think that is all I've got time for today. If you like the episode, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more on Fairhead on Farming Simulator 22. Goodbye.